All right, well in the last video we were talking about statements, and now we're finally ready to do something with statements. And the first thing that we're gonna do with statements is negation. So what's negation? Suppose that I have a statement P. I can form a new statement, the negation of P, which I denote by this symbol. So that is the negation, negation of P. And most of the time we just read that as not P. So that's how we read that symbol. Okay, so what is this? This is just the statement that takes the opposite truth value of P. So when P is true, this statement is false. And when P is false, this statement is true. And the way that we kind of express that in propositional logic is through something called a truth table. And all that it is is just kind of a convenient way of writing what I was just saying. So you consider P as two possibilities, true and false. And then you can then you are looking at what not P is. Okay. Well, when P is true, not P we define to be false. And when P is false, not P we define to be true. And that's all there is to it. That's just what a truth table is. Okay. So let's look at an example. An example. I'm going to let my statement P be every person on earth every person on earth hates Nickelback hates Nickelback every person on earth hates Nickelback okay that's my statement P so let's form the negation of P the negation of P if I'm saying that every single person on earth hates Nickelback every single person the negation is well no not every person you would say there is at least one person who does not hate Nickelback. So, at least one person on earth, at least one person on earth does not satisfy the condition that I was asserting. I was asserting the condition that every person on earth hates Nickelback. So at least one person on earth does not hate Nickelback. Does not hate Nickelback. And I will leave it to you to decide which one of these is actually true. And that's all there is to negation. I'll see you in the next video.